Today I wanted to share some of my new in wardrobe items. I've been doing a little bit of vintage shopping and also some thoughtful online shopping. <laughs> I remember this time a few years ago my shopping habits were so much worse than they are now and I'm really trying to find staples in my wardrobe that will suit me really well last year upon year um, and just you know really narrow down my style now and I think I'm sort of understanding more what suits me and the colours that go with my complexion, my hair. So I'm going to show you the first item and then I'm going to chat to you about my skincare journey and the results I found from using my Dermatica personalised formula. I've been on the hunt for the perfect chunky brown cable knit cardigan for a while now and I knew that if I found it then that would be my purchase of autumn and I found it <laughs> and it is pretty much perfect. It ticks all of the boxes. I found one from a different brand but then I messaged a girl because I was going to buy it on Depop and she was like yeah it's very itchy so I was like okay nope and another part of was that it had to have some sort of natural fibre in it like a big proportion of natural fibre to make it last longer um, and so yes, I found this one on Suzanne in their new collection and it ticked all of the boxes pretty much. So this is what it looks like. I'll do a little try on clip in a minute to show you in full but I am in love. I feel like you know a cable knit jumper is good quality when they actually put the cable knit on the back as well. A lot of the time that's one of the things that manufacturers cut out and they just have a really basic back to the jumper but I'm glad they didn't here. It's been made with RWS certified wool which is amazing and it does have a little bit of acrylic in it I think. Oh no polyamide. So it's 65% merino wool, 30% polyamide and 5% alpaca. It is a shame they put the polyamide in there but I feel like I have I've had a lot of Cezanne jumpers and they have a real mixture of fibres in them and they don't tend to go super bobbly. And the good thing about having a high natural fibre content is that when it does go bobbly you can remove the bobbles quite easily because they'll actually come off in one of those little shaving machines. So here is the cardigan on. Very cosy. I love the sleeves. They're sort of slightly puffed out but they have a really pretty shape to them. It is the slightest bit itchy around the neck and I have very sensitive skin so if you don't have very sensitive skin you'll be absolutely fine. But anyway, I'm going to chat you through the progress I've seen with my Dermatica Personalised Formula. So I've been using my Dermatica Personalised Formula for about two months now and I have honestly never had so many compliments on my skin. <laughs> I wouldn't have said my skin was bad before I started the formula. Um, I did have issues with spots and like the odd discoloration and I still get spots because I mean my hormone cycles bring on spots and the, some of the foods I eat sometimes don't help my skin <laughs> but on the whole I've been so impressed with the results and I honestly don't know when I last wore foundation. I used to be quite unconfident in the way that my skin always looked really dull and just had so many different colours going on in it um, but now I can just wake up. I sometimes put a little bit of concealer on but that will be about it. So right now on my skin I just have my eyebrows filled in, a little bit of blush tiny bit of concealer under the eyes and that is it. It has just changed the game in my makeup routine. I've hardly had to do anything. I will put a before and after picture here um, if I can find good ones. I also took a little video of my skin bare um, if you wanted to see what it looks like now with no makeup at all but honestly just adding the tiniest bit of concealer and my skin is just, it just looks flawless and even I find even when I get spots they don't bother me as much because I know they're going to go away quite quickly. So how it works is you fill out 
all of your skin concerns online on Dermatica's website and it will be sent to their dermatology team who will analyse your skin, look at your concerns and come up with a personalised formula which they send in the form of this little tube and this lasts for 28 days and during those 28 days if you're having issues you can contact them and if you want to change your formula you can contact them as well and they will help and when they send your personalised formula out they'll also tell you where to apply it, how often to apply it, if you see any reactions, what to do um, so you're completely covered and you're in the hands of some professionals which is just great. I do have a discount code if you'd like to try out the personalised formula for yourself. All you've got to do is use my name Rosie and that will get your first month for £2.90 and it's usually £24.99 a month and that will also get you 10% off your next month after that. So a very good deal and definitely worth a try. I will leave all the links and information in the description bar below. Okay, let's carry on with the new in wardrobe items. Um, I'm gonna take this off because I'm getting quite hot. <laughs> I have two more new items and then the rest is vintage after that. So the first one I have is from Arquette and it's another jumper and this is another cable knit jumper. Um, and I just thought this was very me and I have a similar jumper in my wardrobe already that's not it's not the same shape or fibre content at all as this one is. This one is very premium. This one is 100% wool and it is RWS certified again. Like with the cardigan, this one has the cable knit at the back as well. But I very nearly bought this jumper last year but it was sold out forever and then it came back again this year and I was just like, I need that jumper. And it is perfect. It doesn't touch my neck too much which is great because obviously it's 100% wool and it's not really itchy either. Um, I think it must be some sort of merino wool or some mix. So this is what it looks like on. I love the boxy shape. I picked it up in a medium because the small was sold out. But I really like the oversized look to it. And I usually prefer it when there is a cuff. But because this one is wool, it's quite nice to have a bit of airflow going on. It goes with these jeans really nicely. Probably tuck it in if you want to. I just like I just like the shape so much so that it doesn't really need anything tucked in anywhere. I would definitely recommend checking out Arquette for good quality jumpers this year. Also, on the note of buying jumpers, I still have loads of jumpers up on my Depop if you're interested. So I will link my Depop down below. I've got loads of good autumn winter stuff on there at the moment. And I actually had a little bit of a jumper clear out recently, so I'll have more coming up soon. Every now and then I search cashmere jumpers on Depop and eBay. And this time I found this beauty and I just fell in love and I think I got it for £50 or something crazy. Um, I loved the shape of the sleeves, let me put it on for you. So this one is a lot more colourful than the previous, which are all very muted, but I feel like this is still quite a muted colour and I just think it is the perfect shape. I love the sleeves and it's a really gorgeous sort of like mottled green and brown and I just thought it would go really nicely with my hair colour which I think it does. I don't wear green too often. The only time I wear green is when it's really muted and almost washed out looking. The original brand is Coco Cashmere London um, and I looked them up and they were around 300 and something originally so I think I got a rather big bargain with this jumper, um, so I'm very happy with that. I went into Uniqlo recently in Oxford and I picked up this quilted vest. I really want to make a quilted vest but at the moment I have so much on on my cutting table and sewing that I just cannot 
get my head into gear about doing something for myself. <laughs> so once all the Christmas rush is done, then I can work on my own one. But this one, let me tell you, it's pretty perfect. For starters, it is super lightweight, so it's just such an easy thing to chuck in a bag, in a tote bag. It also comes with a little bag that you can put it into, <laughs> if you want to, which can go in an inside pocket. And you also have outside pockets. And I even discovered recently that it has poppers up the top here. So if you want to change it to be this sort of shape, then you can. And you have a different style gilet. So I'm very happy with this gilet. Um, they had a few other colours if you don't want brown. Um, I would also recommend sizing down because I like the style of it being a bit boxy but I definitely could have gone for an extra small. Just a little tip for anyone thinking about buying one. I would recommend sizing down. Now I have a few little vintage items to show you. The first one I fell in love with as soon as I saw it in a charity shop and it is this gorgeous tweed wool coat and this was in the charity shop for eight pounds and it's made from pure new wool and it's made in the United Kingdom and you just like if this coat was on Suzanne it would be so much and I loved the shape I don't know it's, it's kind of annoying I'm now noticing some stains but I mean even even so eight pounds I'm not going to complain about that I think it's the perfect shade for me for a coat because I like to wear kind of a light colored top underneath and jeans and that is pretty much my everyday wardrobe and this jacket or coat just goes with that so well and it comes to a length that I like and it would probably look really cute done all the way up to the top I just thought it was so perfect and it's really funny because I was on Depop the other day and I saw a coat popped up that was really similar to this, it was a bit longer and they were asking £120 for it. The same like age in vintageness and I was just like wow I got a bargain. But some people also do really try it on on Depop in how much they want for vintage clothes. <laughs> this next purchase is very retro. Um, it's a 70s crochet bag and this, I kid you not, was a completely different colour <laughs> in the shop than it was after I'd washed it when I got home. I'm hoping it was a dye, but my mum thinks it's probably nicotine stains. It's quite crazy how different it looks now, but now it's nice and clean. And um, I just, you know when you put something on and it just hugs to your body and you're like, wow, I feel like this is mine and I need it. <laughs> so I just thought this was so cute and I think it's going to make my outfits instantly look vintage and from the 70s. So this is what it looks like from the side. I actually quite like it also being worn that way so it's just sort of a big patch of crochet. I'm sure you can find something like this on eBay or one of your local charity shops very easily. And then the final vintage item I have to show you is this Laura Ashley blouse. I think this is, it said on the listing that it was from the 80s. It's definitely not one of the really old Laura Ashley pieces but I still thought it was so cute. It's got this tiny little floral print going on and I'm not 100% sure which way the collar's meant to go and the listing it was up like this and I might put a little popper so that it stays up because I thought surely it goes down but then the construction of it doesn't really work with it going down. Um, so that makes me think that it does, is meant to stand up. And it's got these beautiful pin tucks going down the front and I love the little placket for the buttons and how it stops there instead of going all the way down like a normal shirt would. I'll put it on so you can see what it looks like. It's very cute. I'm going to try doing all these buttons up to see what the collar does. I have washed this. But let's see. Oh yeah, it kind of stands up on its own. But I reckon if I put popper there, 
Who well, doesn't really need it? I don't really know what's going on here, but I'm sure I will figure it out. <laughs> to be honest, I'll probably wear it open with a few buttons open like that, and I probably wouldn't have a top underneath. So there we go, I'm really happy with these items that I have in my wardrobe now. Um, they're definitely investment pieces and ones that I feel like are going to last for a long time and even if they don't, when I give them on or sell them on, they will last a long, long time. And that's something that for knitwear, for example, acrylic knits just don't last the test of time. <laughs> and so even though they're really soft and cosy, they're just not really the best thing to invest your money in. And yeah, make sure to check out places like eBay, Depop, um, and try searching for brands you like, for jumpers that you know you like, because um, obviously a lot of these can be quite expensive. But people sell Suzanne cardigans on eBay all the time. I picked up my last two Suzanne cardigans from Depop and eBay. So it's definitely doable, just gotta shop around and you have to just be mindful of what we're buying and I think that's the best thing we can do to help the environment at the moment is be mindful of everything we're buying and consuming. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video.